Anthony Smith takes on Jimmy Crude in what should be a very exciting light heavyweight matchup. Contenders in the weight class, Jimmy Crude on the rise. As of right now, riding a two-fight win streak. Coming into this fight, beat up Modestis Bauskas in the last one. Michael Olin Jacek prior to that. Does have a loss to Misha Sirkanov. Sirkanov's very tricky on the ground, and that's where Crude took it. And unfortunately, he got himself submitted. But 12-1 and is a pro. Very hot prospect. Only 25 years of age. Anthony Lionheart Smith, he's 32 has had a ton of fights coming off a win over Devin Clark, but you look back, Alexander Rakic beat him by a unanimous decision. That was not a very impressive performance on his part. He was on the back uh, throughout most of that fight and didn't really surmount any offense really prior to that. Glover Teixeira, he did have two really good rounds in that fight, but gassed himself out and then Glover was able to demolish him and get the TKO. Uh, that was a, a brutal fight for Anthony Smith that he took a lot of damage in. You look at Anthony Smith, I mean, he's fought the best guys in the world consistently. Jimmy Crute, somebody on the rise. So it's really a crossroads fight. Anthony Smith seems to be slightly on maybe the decline, whereas Crute is on the way up. I don't think you can count Anthony Smith out, though. He is definitely a live underdog. I do feel with that reach advantage, 76 to 72.4 inches, from the outside, the kickboxing range, Anthony Smith will be very dangerous. He always is very dangerous. He's also two inches taller at 6'4", but Crude is so consistent with his takedowns. If you look at statistically, Anthony Lionheart Smith's takedown defense, it's not terrible. It's about 51%, whereas Jimmy Crude has a 75% accuracy at takedowns. Just something to note. Also, the takedown averages per 15 minutes. Crute shoots for four of them, I think. Odds are really in the favor of Crute getting him down at least twice throughout this fight. And he does shoot for at least two submissions per 15 minutes. So some stats that were worth talking about there. Smith with that susceptibility to being controlled on the ground. Sometimes kind of pulls a Kevin Holland. Just gets stuck on the floor. Doesn't do much. Granted against Devin Clark. Great submission win. But that is a different level. This is... Jimmy Crude, who's not just a wrestler, he's a dangerous grappler, knockout power in the hands, 25 years of old and constantly improving. Now, I don't think he's able to get the finish over Anthony Smith in this fight, but I do think Jimmy Crute can go get himself the biggest victory of his career. I think he's a hot prospect. Aside from the Misha Sarkhanov has looked excellent, and even in that fight, there were moments to take away that were positive. If you are looking to bet on this fight, the odds will obviously slightly differ from, from line to line, where whatever bookmaker you're using, but minus 200 for Crute, plus 160 for Smith is about what you'll get. Let's talk about some potential prop bets here. I really like the over one and a half rounds for this fight. I see it going the distance. The fight goes the distance bet at a plus 145. The biggest risk with that, I will say, Jimmy Crute does bring in a lot of finishing ability when he gets the fights to the ground. I do think Smith survives. He survived against very high-level guys in the UFC, but it's more of a risk. The over one and a half, I think, is a near lock pick at the minus 175. I like Jimmy Crute for the victory at the minus 185 you're seeing there. because So some websites, you'll get it better. A straight up bet on Crude is not terrible. But if you're looking for more of props, want to make more money, Crude winning by decision is a plus 310. The reason he's such a finisher, I don't love that bet, but that's another possibility. My favorite bet on this card would be, or rather on this fight particularly, I like the Crude straight up bet at the minus 200, minus 185. Maybe a half unit down, maybe a full, depending on what you want to play, depending on what you have to give, or risk, rather. The over one and a half at minus 175, I think, is a near lock. It is minus 175. It's not the best odds, but I think likelihood of it, very high for success. Near lock at the, at the over one and a half at the minus 175. I do think Crute wins. I think he beats Anthony Smith. I do think Crute is somebody to keep an eye on. The light heavyweight division... Has some contenders on the rise, and I think Jimmy Crute is definitely one of them. He beats Anthony Smith here. He does so by a unanimous decision. Should be a great way to start off the main card. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next video.